What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to talk about hydrochloric acid and main characteristics about hydrochloric acid. So let's see what is hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is one of the inorganic acid and the chemical formula for this acid is HCl. So one molecule of HCl consists of one atom of hydrogen and one atom of chlorine so this is the very simple chemical formula it consists of one atom of hydrogen and one atom of chlorine and if we want to find out the molar mass or molecular weight of this compound we need to find out the atomic mass of each of these elements hydrogen and chlorine hydrogen is here i don't know if you can see that is 1.008 that's the atomic mass of hydrogen and chlorine is here and it is 35.453 so these are the atomic masses so since we have one atom of each we need to add them 1.008 plus 35.453 that's going to give me 36.461 it means that one mole of hcl is equivalent to 36.461 grams of HCl. So now let's take a look to the Lewis structure of um, hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid has two other names. One of them is hydrogen chloride and the other name is muriatic acid so these are basically some common name for that but hydrochloric acid is the most common name for that but basically in industry sometimes you also hear muriatic acid so whenever they're talking about muriatic acid it means that it's hydrochloric acid and usually you see it in the concentration between 10 to 40 percent 10 to 38 percent of hcl and it is dissolved in water so you have aqueous solution so the loose structure is going to be like this chlorine as you saw in the previous um, slide it belongs to group seven and it has seven electrons in the valence shell and hydrogen has one so we have one single bond between h and cl and we have three lone pairs around chlorine so we have octet rule for chlorine and we have duet rule for hydrogen hydrochloric acid is a strong acid it means that as you dissolve it in water it it is going to be dissociated completely into its compound so hcl is going to be h plus and Cl minus but H plus since it is unstable it's going to surround it by water molecules and becomes like H3O plus which we call it hydronium ion so as you see here this reaction is irreversible it means that it's going to be complete it's completely dissociated into its ion so at the end you don't have any remaining HCl compounds and since it's strong acid, the pH is less than 7. And let's take a look to the application of hydrochloric acid. First of all, hydrochloric acid is used in metal cleaning. What does that mean? Sometimes also called pickling, or pickling of steel, for example. Whenever you have, uh, whenever um, you are producing or manufacturing steel, because steel is exposed to air, you're going to have a um, rust or a layer of iron oxide on steel. In industry, people use HCl in order to remove this rust, remove this iron oxide from the surface of these metals. Another application for uh, for um, hydro hydrochloric acid is going to be production of inorganic compounds as you see in the little box in the bottom zn plus 2 hcl is going to give us zn cl2 basically the metal zinc reacts with hcl and produce zinc chloride or nickel oxide is going to react with hcl and is going to give you nickel chloride and calcium carbonate plus 
hydrochloric acid is going to give you calcium chloride, CO2, and water. So it used to produce inorganic compounds. You also, the, the, the primary component of stomach acid is also hydrochloric acid. And also the most important application of this HCl is to neutralize bases for pH control. During the production of, for example, different kinds of alkaline solutions, which we have, we're going to produce lots of hydroxide ions. In order to control pH or in order to neutralize solution, we need to use HCl because HCl, the H and OH of alkaline, they react and produce water. So these are the application of hydrochloric acid. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question regarding hydrochloric acid or muriatic acid. Thank you for watching and have a great day.